blue trousers, blue helmets with KU on the side. In red lettering, Dan Eichloff will kick off from left to right. North to south has a little bit of a breeze behind him, but not much of a factor. But he doesn't get many of his kicks returned. He angles this kick that will go beyond the end zone and come out to the 20-yard line where K-State will take over first and 10. A nice job of angling the kick just inside the pylon to the far sideline and about as good as kickoff as you could have. And Eichloff is an All-American candidate. Now let's give you Kansas State's offensive starters. First of all, at quarterback, it will be Paul Watson. So the answer to that question has been asked all week long. Doug Grush will be at the left tackle. Toby Lawrence will be the latter. The right guard is Eric Wolford. The right tackle is Dave. Mike Smith, flanker left. Eye formation here for Kansas State. As Kit Rollins is in the eye formation as an eye back, stumbling as Watson hands it off to Rollins. He's up across the 30-yard line into the 31-yard line for a gain of 11. Almost disaster for K-State as Watson stumbled, getting tripped up by Quentin New Year, the center, but he did hand off for an 11-yard gain before Hassan Bailey hit him. Now at fullback, Rollins at tailback, and Curtis Madden is at fullback. So the other question was, would Eric Gallon play after his injury at Washington? He did practice, I'm told, this week, but he's not starting this game. They give you the defensive starters for Kansas following this play. First and 10, K-State football at its own 31-yard line. The Wildcats now put Andre Coleman in the game and will go with a spread formation. Three receivers to the left side, the tight end right. Play clock at four for Kansas State as the Wildcats going to have to hurry up to get this playoff. Play action fake by Watson. He rolls left. He looks. He fires a pass complete to Campbell at the 40-yard line. Russ drags three Jayhawks with him up to the 43. Back-to-back -back first downs by Kansas State. Want a run by Kit Rollings. Want a pass from Watson to the tight end, Russ Campbell. Steve Harvey, the middle linebacker, making his second collegiate start. He started last week at Virginia. They had Coleman come in the ball game late. He had to be told to play by Michael Smith and Kit Rawlings. And then with the clock running down to three seconds, he still made an audible call, saw the opening, and threw the ball to Russ Campbell. Very good job by calling the play and a very good job completing the pass. Kyle Moore, Gilbert Brown, Dana Stubblefield, Brian Christian, the front four for Kansas. 250, 305, 285, 260. Outstanding defensive group. Three linebackers, Guy Howard, Steve Harvey, Hassan Bailey. Back to throw on first down, Watson. Puffing right, throwing right, has a man. Complete into KU territory at the 45. Mike Smith made the catch. Three straight first downs on three consecutive plays for Kansas State, Stan Weber. First and 10 Wildcats at the Jayhawk 46. We talked about Paul Watson completing over 70% of his passes the last two football games. That's the key to the Kansas State football game. Paul Watson and Michael Smith working together and setting the tone so they can throw the ball well, and they'll complement with the running game after they throw the football well, and that time Watson stayed in the pocket for a long time, waiting for Smith to come open over the middle. Doug Terry, Gerald McBurrows made the tackle. Paul Friday and Tim Hill also in the secondary for Kansas. First down Wildcats at the Jayhawk 46. Long count here by Watson. Kansas showing blitz. Back to throw on the draw is Rawlings. Rawlings trying to jitterbug outside. He's across the 40 and up to the 39-yard line. Kansas State read the blitz, Stan Weber, and ran the perfect play against the blitz, the draw for good yardage. Kansas will bring aggressive defense. That time Watson read it, and the offensive line did a good job of opening a crack up, and Kit Rawlings was able to get a few yards before he met Sylvester Wright, but he was able to fake out Sylvester Wright and gain even more yardage. A nice seven-yard run. Second and three Wildcats at the Jayhawk 39. Just underway, we're only two minutes deep into the game. K-State moving the ball. Single back for the Wildcats is Madden, and he gets the call. He's across the 35, and it's down to the 32-yard line. First down, Wildcats at the Jayhawk 32. Harvey and Terry on the tackles for KU. Now, Kansas State offensively plays 11, 13, 12, 7, 11. They've got the ball to the 32 of Kansas to keep the Kansas Jayhawks off balance, running draws, uh, that time a trap play to the fullback, and three different type passes. So Kansas State is really clicking starting this football game. Single back is Madden. K-State in a spread formation. Tight end right, Russ Campbell. Kansas stays in its 4-3 defense. Ball is on the right hash mark here for Kansas State. Play clock at 3. Watson looks right, throws a quick out right to Coleman. Jitterbugs, a man. Lunges forward, may have a first down at the 22 of Kansas. Gerald McBurrows and Doug Terry made the stop. That time K-State stand used a play fake to set up the short out. It was a real quick fake into the middle, but he threw the pass to Coleman along the sideline. Coleman just went down about seven yards, turned around, a very safe pass, and a very good pass against the Kansas defense, which, as Kansas State moves down the field, takes more chances. That time they ran a couple long. They've been able to run and pass on this drive. Second down one for K-State, just a bit short of the first down. At the 23 of KU, they mark it. Staggered split set for K-State. Flanker left, split and right, back to throw Watson. 
plenty of time. Now pump faking, now turns right and will throw it away as the pass was over the head of Frank Hernandez. Covered up was Mike Smith. He was the intended receiver, and Tim Hill was on him. Teen left to go first quarter. No score. K-State moving. They have third and one at the Jayhawk 23-yard line. High formation tied in left. Quarterback sneak by Watson. Quick count. First down K-State at the Jayhawk 20-yard line. Quentin Newyear, that sophomore from Surprise, Nebraska, an all-Big 8 candidate on the quick count, blew a hole right at the zero hole for a first down. Wild. That's, a, that's a very impressive changeup, Mitch, for Kansas State because they go on a long count, run the clock down close to the, the full time, the full 25 seconds almost every play. This time they immediately went up, got set quickly, and snapped the ball in a quarterback sneak. Kansas wasn't resi ready, and they easily picked up the first down. Wildcat football brought to you by your local stop to shop, home of the junior Wildcat club. Spread formation with three receivers to the left, far side. Tight end right, Russ Campbell. Kit Rawlings alone setback behind Watson. First down, K-State at the Jayhawk 20. Kansas shows Kansas State something they haven't seen. They call timeout. 11 K-State had called timeout, 11.48 left to go in the first quarter, no score. K-State has marched from its own 20 to the 20 of Kansas. Stan, why did K-State call timeout? KU, as we expected, came up in a blitz formation. They had everyone who wasn't going to cover one re receiver man-to-man -man up ready to blitz. They were covering man-to-man, -man and they had a free safety back, but everyone else was going to come. Paul Watson didn't have time to check, so he called timeout quickly. K-State with a spread left, then they hand it off to Rollins, who's hit immediately, but shakes off one tackler, but goes down for a loss of a half yard. Gilbert Brown made the penetration. 6-2-3-0-5 makes his 17th tackle of the year. In one of a half dozen Detroit defensive players on this football team. They have gone to Detroit and recruited very well. Paul Friday from Detroit, the starting strong safety. Rod Jones, a backup outside linebacker. Guy Howard. K-State second down. Let's call a loss of one. They'll have second and 11 at the Jayhawk 21. 11-10 left to go. First quarter, no score. Single back Rawlings, spread formation. Three receivers to left, tight end right. Back to throw Watson, this time on a deep drop, looking right, and will throw it away, looking for the tight end, Campbell. K-State wanted to go on a tight end screen to the right side, and Kansas had it covered very well. Mitch, Kansas had it, had it covered by only one player and one rushing player. If Paul Watson would have not had that player right in front of his face, he would have been able to get the ball off to Campbell. Kansas State had three blockers to Kansas, one defensive player, but Watson didn't have that extra second that he needed, so he had to throw the football away again to stay away from the sack. Third down play for Watson. He's been very good in this situation this year. He's 14 of 21 on third down conversions. Our third down plays, he's had 11 of those, four conversions. Came into the game with 762 yards passing. He's got 32 on this drive. Third down 11 for the Wildcats. Back to throw Watson on a deep drop. Steps up in the pocket, pumping. Now dumps it off and under throws his intended receiver. And it's an incompleted forward pass. He was looking for Rawlings, leaking out over the middle of the Jayhawk defense. Now Tate Wright will try a 38-yard field goal. The kick is up. A spinning kick going right to left. The kick is good. Tate Wright gets it. And K-State gets points out of the drive on a 38-yard field goal by Tate Wright. His second career field goal against the Jayhawks. Kansas State three. Kansas nothing. Back with a purple kickoff. After this timeout, this is the Wildcat Football Network. Drives 59 yards. It took 12 plays. And a 38-yard field goal by Tate Wright. His third field goal of the year. And from that distance now in his career, Tate is 3 for 5 and 1 for 2 this year. He missed one from that range against Northern Illinois. Kansas has George White back to take this kick from Tate Wright. A line drive kick that White will take at the 12. Has a wall in front of him. He's at the 25. Flag on the play as White goes down to the 33-yard line. George White, a sophomore from Allen, Texas. Recovering from a minor injury in the Virginia game. But a flag Kansas. Perez making his 38th consecutive start for the Jayhawks at left tackle. The quarterback, Chip Hillary. Eye formation behind him. Play fake by Hillary. Rolling left. Wants to throw the football. He's being chased. He's at the 15-yard line. He's across the 20 and scrambles up to near the 24-yard line. An 11-yard gain. And a Kansas first down. Jamie Mendez, the free safety. Roger Robin, the starting fullback. Kenny Drayton and Matt Gay are the starting wide receivers. Two receivers to the right side. I formation. Hillary will option to the near side. Hillary, 25-yard line. Hillary, 30. 35-yard line and up to the 36. Roger Green getting the start after missing two games. And Chris Patterson made the tackle for Kansas State. Patterson also hasn't started. First down, Kansas. Football at its own 36-yard line in motion is the tight end 
Dwayne Chandler. And now a flag thrown is jumping across with Jody Killian. But who will be penalized here? It will be a illegal procedure panel. When they went down, Kansas State was a little fake. Killian started to move. That made Chandler move. The defense can, the offense can't. So it was a penalty on the offense. Rolling left is Hillary on the option plays at the 30. He's at the 35. Hillary's at the 40-yard line and forced out of bounds by Roger Green. They pushed him out of bounds on the far side by Chip Hillary. Advancing up to the 42-yard line for a gain of 11 on a second and 15 play. And that rollout option right now, Kansas weapon. You get a quick look at the game plan for the Kansas Jayhawks. They've been hurting teams by pitching the ball on tailback type plays. Round on the option, Kansas State is nowhere close to the quarterback, Hillary. 9.43 left to go first quarter, 3-0. K-State with the lead, but Kansas moving the ball. They fake the toss sweep. Hillary wants to throw. Now pump faking. Now we'll go on the run and add libs up to the 46-yard line and near a first down. Everybody was covered, so the talented Hillary ran. And Kelly Green made an act from the Kansas State defensive point of view. He's got two receivers to the right, Matt Gay and Jim New. He's got an eye formation with a tight end left on first down from the 46. They give it off to the fullback, Robin. And K-State will stop him after a short gain of just two yards. Sean Dabney checked into the game. He helped out there. Also, Joe Boone made the primary tackle. And to the right, flanker left is Kenny Drayton. Made a big day against K-State last year. Quarterback Hillary in the eye formation. Hand off to Sands, his first carry of the game, trying to angle outside. And Elijah Alexander runs him down. But a positive pickup by Sands just into K-State territory. A gain of three yards by Tony Sands. Elijah Alexander didn't mention him. And gain yardage in a situation where it didn't like it, look like he was going to gain very much. Reggie Blackwell checks in for K-State. Third down six for Kansas. The ball right at midfield, just barely into K-State territory. Play clock at six for KU. Hillary back to throw on third and five. Plenty of time. Rifles a pass that is broken up nicely. Great play by C.J. Masters, who breaks up the pass intended for Kenny Drayton. Drayton had a step on him. The pass a bit underthrown. Masters with a good defensive play. Great recovery by C.J. Masters because Kenny Drayton went downfield, faked out, and turned around toward the middle. After he took the fake toward the outside, C.J. Masters got turned around completely, but he was able to look up, react, and dive and knock the football away, and Kansas State has stopped Kansas on the first drive. Dan Eichloff, third in the nation in punting, 46-yard average. He has had 60 yards or better on three punts this year. He faked one last year against K-State. He'll kick this one, a high kick. Mike Smith vacates the area. It'll go into the end zone, and K-State will take over. First and 10 at the 20-yard line. 8.27 left to go, first quarter. K-State here in Manhattan's won 13 times, lost 27. There's been three ties. Last K-State win here in 1986, last one in the series. Tight end right, Russ Campbell. Flanker right. First down, K-State at its 20. 8.27 left to go, first quarter. Quarterback Paul Watson. Again with a long count as Kansas bunched up in tight on the defensive line. Draw play goes to Rawlings. And this time, Rawlings will be stopped for a three-yard loss back at the 17-yard line. 4-3, Kansas' extra man is able to make the tackle for a loss. Flanker left, Mike Smith. So we got a catch in the game. Wide receiver to the right, Frank Hernandez. Staggered split set for Kansas State in the formation. Second down, 13 for the Wildcats at the 17. Quick out thrown by Watson. Diving catch made by Mike Smith at the 24-yard line for a gain of seven. Not a good throw by Watson. You can credit Mike Smith, the second-best receiver in Big 8 history, for that catch. And let's pause 10 seconds for station ID on the Wildcat Football Network. Now the Wildcats have third and seven. Football at the 23 they mark it. So a gain of six on the pass play from Watson to Smith. Curtis Madden, the lone setback behind Watson. Slot formation to the right side with three receivers. Back to throw Watson in case State will be called for delay of game here. The Wildcats again trying to change the play at the line of the Wildcats 18-yard line. 3-0 K-State, 647 left to go first quarter. Madden, the lone setback behind Watson. Tight end left is Campbell. Flanker left is Coleman. Kansas, four-man defensive front. A 4-3-4 defensive structure. Play action fake by Watson. Deep drop. Throws the football. Lofting a pass. It's going to be intercepted at the 30-yard line. And he's at the 25. He's at the 20-yard line. And steps out of bounds at the 15-yard line. Robert Vaughn, a sophomore quarterback, gets his second interception of the year. Kansas only had three interceptions in four games coming into this contest. They get one there and a mistake by Watson. Well, consistent with and move down to the Kansas State 15-yard line. Joe Boone. Or Laird Veach now in at linebacker, 4-3 defense. Toss sweep near side to Sands. Lowers his head and 
powers his way to the 11 yard line for a gain of four. Kansas State's third, but they pick up a turnover here and have a chance. Quarterback Chip Hillary, eye formation with Robin, he'll get the call, and Robin gets inside the 10 and slashes to the eight yard line for a gain of three. It'll bring up third and three for Kansas at the Wildcat eight yard line. Sean Dabney, the junior at an option. So when Kansas State makes good plays, still doesn't stop KU completely. Kansas two fullbacks in the lineup now. Robin and Cousins on third down and three, stepping off is Chandler to be the fourth man in the backfield. Handoff to Robin, he's short of a first down. He got to the seven yard line and then driven back. Kansas looked a bit confused. They came in with double tight ends, Chandler and Brett Williford, a little used freshman from Denver. Elijah Alexander and Chris Patterson made the stop. It'll be fourth down, let's call it three for Kansas. No game, well give him a gain of a yard, third and two. Monty Cousins was the ball carrier. Roger Robin, correction, fourth down here for Kansas. Ball and a chip shot field goal here by try by Eichloff, who is seven of eight this year. And this will be just a 24 yard field goal try. Eichloff's kick is up and is good and Kansas ties the game and a flag thrown. A flag thrown, hang on here, this could be a big penalty. A penalty flag is thrown here as the kick was good. Disregard the flag. Mitch Holt is back with Stan Weber at KSU Stadium's Wagner Field. A crowd of a little over 40,000 on hand here, a 3-3 tie. Dan Eichloff just kicked a field goal, now he's got a line drive. Flutter kick that'll be picked up by Andre Coleman at the four. Coleman angling 10, 15, dives over one Jayhawk and then gets hit hard and goes down at the 22 yard line and a flag thrown, maybe a late hit on Kansas. Coleman dove over one Jayhawk and got knocked down at the 22. Gallon, of course, had the outstanding first three weeks. Washington stuffed him and knocked him out of the ball game, but he's in there now as a single back. Two receivers left, one to the right, tight end right. Hand off Gallon up the middle and Gallon. Spins ahead for a couple yards, but that's it. Kansas was right there waiting on him. As Brian Christian, a talented sophomore from Detroit, Michigan, but effort by Gallon does pick him up. Two yards in the play. Let's go down to Dan Apps along in 84. 352 left to go first quarter. 3-3 tie. K-State second and eight. And it's 38-yard line. The Wildcats hold option. Watson at the 45. And he's pushed out of bounds and a flag thrown. A flag thrown as Watson on the option run goes out of bounds at the 48-yard line. Sylvester Wright made the tackle. But let's wait and see what the call is on the flag. As the flag thrown, this may be on Kansas State on the option. No face mask against Kansas. And the Wildcats get a nice option play by Watson, plus a face mask tacked onto the end of the play. Fourth penalty against Kansas. Kansas State tried to run the option against KU last season with some success, but they really haven't run the play much this season. There they came out with it again, mixing it up, pass run, and now an option. Paul Watson. Incidental was able face mask, defense, five yard penalty. First down. A high rotation of players here by Kansas State against the very physical defensive front of KU. Back to throw Watson on first down. Deep, deep drop. Rifling a pass across the middle. The pass is incomplete. Intended receiver was Andre Coleman. Pound speedster up into the defensive line. And now they're able to move quickly across the line of scrimmage and blitz, blitz much more effectively. Also the loss of Pat Rogan. The transfer from Ohio State who was kicked off the team in the spring. A flag thrown. This might be a legal procedure here against Kansas. We'll bring up seven men to the line of scrimmage, eight men to the line of scrimmage, and bring them on a blitz here, possibly. Second down. Watson trying to change the play at the line of scrimmage. Kansas, seven men up near the football within five yards of the football. Back to throw Watson, Kansas blitzing. Little dump pass to the right to Jones. He can't make the catch. It's over his head. Over covering the play, Paul Friday, the free safety. Not a bad play call against that defense stand, but not a good throw by Watson. Third and 15, though, is Kansas State's problem now. Football at their own 48. Back to throw. Kansas blitzing again. Watson moving away from the blitz. Throws a pass. It's caught by Mike Smith. Where will they mark him down at? They'll mark him down at the Kansas 36-yard line. They mark him at the 36. First down, Kansas State. What a play. Great throw by Watson with Hassan Bailey in his face and a nice catch by Smith. A Wildcat first down. A gain of 16 when they needed 15. A giant play by Paul Watson. He didn't just sit back in the pocket. He kept his head looking downfield, but he backpedaled away from the blitz, giving himself just that half extra second 
and he was able to throw the football right as he was getting hit. If he would have stayed in the pocket, he would have never got that pass off. He threw a very accurate pass. Mike Smith makes a nice jumping catch, and Kansas State picks up a third and long first down. Robert Vaughn made the tackle for Kansas. He had an interception earlier. It helped set up KU's field goal. Back to throw Watson. He's in trouble. They're going to sack Watson back at the 46-yard line for a loss of 10 yards. Hassan Bailey taking off almost every snap of the foot. High. Kansas State second down, 19 football. They mark it at the Jayhawk 45-yard line. Kansas again shifting around on defense. Three receivers set to the wide side, left side. Kansas State will option. Watson will pitch late and fumbling the football is Watson and Kansas will cover it up at the 47-yard line of Kansas State. Chris Momolonga. Chris Momolonga there to get the fumble recovery for the Jayhawks. And a second turnover by Kansas State, and both attributed to Watson. Paul Watson there did make a mistake. And Kansas with the ball in K-State territory for the second of their three drives, both on turnovers. Hand off to Sands, and he gets thrown back, but he does gain positive yardage to the 45 for a gain of two, then tried to dive over a stack of purples and then thrown back. Tony Sands has had five consecutive games over 100 yards. Barta back in the game, made the tackle along with Brent Venables. Barta left the game, injured earlier with a shoulder injury. Laird Veach into the game, along with Venables, at cat 45-yard line. Hillary, staggered of Upland, California. Scott M. Willie, co-captain as a junior, Vandale, Ohio. Big the toss sweep, reverse action goes to Sands. He's thrown for a loss. Brent Venables, out of Salina South High School, made the tackle for Kansas State, a loss on the play. Driving back Sands to the 47-yard line for a loss of two. There's that delayed trap play that a lot of pro teams like to use, and it's getting into college football. They fake one way, and then Kenny Drayton wide to the left side. Wide to the near side, Matt Gay to the short side of the field. Hillary with an eye formation behind him. Hillary, play fake. Wants to throw, setting up, throws near side, complete to the tight end Chandler. He's pushed out of bounds, short of a first down at the 39-yard line. So Kansas will have fourth down and two. The ball at the K-State 39. It would 42 seconds left to go in the first quarter, 3-3 tie. Kansas, toss sweep left to Sands. He goes down short of a first down, no gain. No gain on the play. Kansas State smelled the play out very well and was right there in Tony Sands' face. There was that pitch play we talked about out of the I formation, but the Patterson brothers were there. Greg and Chris Patterson met Tony Sands in the backfield, stopped him for no gain. Kansas State makes a big play and takes over at the 39-yard line. One turnover came back to haunt K-State. It gave Kansas three points. The second one, the K-State defense holds. We remind you, K-State football is brought to you by Carrier. Remember, for a free estimate, call your Carrier in. Checks in, and he's wide to the left side as a split in. Flanker right is Mike Smith. Eye formation for the Wildcats and Paul Watson. With 37 seconds left to go in the first quarter and a 3-3 tie. Handoff. Lead play goes to Kit Rollings. He gets tripped up as he gets to the 42-yard line. Split set. Split in left Hernandez. Flanker right is Mike Smith. He'll go from Tate right of 38 yards. Dan Eichlock kicked a 24-yarder for Kansas. In the first quarter, first quarter that game being played in Boulder. Oklahoma and Texas playing today in Dallas. Second down seven for Kansas State. Football of the 42 of Kansas. Watson will run the option and keep. He's across the 50-yard line into Kansas territory for a first down at the 49-yard line. Gilbert Brown ran Watson down from behind for the second time in the game. Though Watson keeps the ball on an option and picks up a first down. Quick stats stand for Kansas State. Rawlings, five carries, 17 yards. Watson, four carries for 13. Watson passing five for 10 for 54 yards, but an interception, which cost K-State three points. Kansas State on two of their first three possessions ended up in a turnover, so they're pretty fortunate right now, Mitch, to drives to this point. Madden, a tight slot left, goes in motion to the right side. Handoff sweep play to Rawlings. And Rawlings on first down gains just a yard to the 48. And then Steve Douglas, a redshirt freshman, a former stallion from Schlegel High School in Kansas City, Tight end right, rush the right tackle, or now, and at right, actually, K-State is tackle over tackle. They are unbalanced to the right side on second down and nine from the 48. They toss it left to Rawlings, and he's in trouble, and he's going to be thrown for a loss back at the 50-yard line. Hassan Bailey, who's all over Kansas State in this football game, made another tackle. So that time, they were tackle over tackle to the right stand with a tight end that same way. Kansas State now with a big third down and 11. Football right at midfield. Single back is Kit Rawlings. Two receivers to the right, flanker left, Coleman. Play clock at six as K-State changes its play again. Kansas coming on the blitz, Bailey. 
Back to throw Watson. Got a little time. Now he's going to break down his protection. He eludes one guy. Now throws the football near side. Frank Hernandez makes the catch, but catches it out of bounds. He caught it one-handed out of bounds for an incompletion. Watson, a good job of avoiding the sack as both. Well, Lance Flashbarth had the best chance at knocking him down, but Harvey and Hill covered the play downfield, and K-State forced a punt for the first time in the game. Sean Snyder comes on. The coach State has given up 153 yards on punt return yardage. One man back for Kansas is a deep man. Snyder with a high spiraling kick. Matt Gay back, vacates the area. It'll go into the end zone and come out to the 20-yard line for a touchback for KU. So the punt by holding the football, a record in this series, I should say. Tight end right for Chip Hillary, I formation. Play fake by Hillary. He'll roll right. He steps up. He wants to run the football. He'll go down after a gain of two at the 22. Hillary wanted to throw. But excellent thrown. Barta two tackles in this game. Now 26 career tackles against Kansas. Second down, short yardage. Hillary follows the block of his fullback after faking the handoff to him, and Hillary gains yards to the 25-yard line, gain of three. Where Kansas will have third and five. Football at its own 25. Three here, making his 38th consecutive start, was carried off the field injured. Trace Liggett takes his place at left tackle. Third down and five. Back to throw Hillary in the pocket. He's hit as he throws, but he has a receiver. The catch made at the 30-yard line. It appears very close to a first down. Brooks Barta made the tackle. And a very close measurement here as Barta made the tackle. The chain's out and proved to me that it's the first down. Maybe the lines aren't exactly straight or something like that. It goes a first down, quick toss. The ball is knocked and almost intercepted. It was tipped at the line of scrimmage by Wildcat on a quick slant play intended for Jayhawk receiver Jimmy New. But Chris Patterson almost had a chance for an intercept. Mitch Holtis along with Stan Weber. KSU Stadium, 3-3 tie, 11 and a half minutes left to go first half. Chip Hillary switching his offense on a second and 10 from his own 30-yard line. Hillary back to throw. Looks right, quick out pass, complete to New, makes the catch and is out of bounds at the 34 for a gain of four. Jim will close the line of scrimmage. You know he's just going to throw a very quick pass. High formation here for Kansas. A pro eye with a split in right, flanker left. Now Hillary switching his backs both set to the right side. Back to throw, Hillary wants to throw the football, being rushed, fires a pass near side and throws it away from everybody. K-State had the rush on Hillary. Chris Patterson came through to knock him down. There was no receiver or defender near the football and Kansas forced a punt. Well, they did it just again, Mitch. They audibleized pass. That time it wasn't open. Kansas faked a punt from this zone last year. Eichloff, K-State trying to set up the return. A spinning kick by Eichloff. Not one of his better kicks, taken by Mike Smith at the 30-35, and then Smith goes down at the 37-yard line. Eichloff, a 42-yard punt, but it's four yards under his average. He told you he's a chance to be an All-American kicker. Harold Harris, a sophomore from Lawrence, made the tackle for the Kansas Jayhawks. Offset eye here for the Wildcats. Otherwise, it's a pro look. Flanker left, split in right, and a tight end left. Ball on the right hash mark. 11-14 left to go first half, a 3-3 tie. Kansas State has survived two turnovers. One has led to a Kansas field goal. Flag on the play. Back to throw Watson. He's in trouble. Now he'll throw the football and underthrows Gallon, the intended receiver. And Watson got sacked as coming through was Kyle Moore, Kansas defensive end. Three receivers left, one to the right, single back Gallant. Tight end left is Campbell. Kansas again up in the gaps on defense, six men near the football. Now the middle linebacker, Steve Harvey, backs off. Watson again, a long count. Retreats into the pocket, draw play Gallant. Gallant trying to get outside, gets by one Jayhawk, and then goes down at the 45-yard line for just a gain of three. But a draw on first and five. Kansas tackle by Paul Friday. Right. New Year would have blocked Harvey, and there would have been no one there. He could have picked up more yardage. Throw eye formation for Watson here. Second down and two from the Jayhawk 45. 10-27 left to go first half. Hand off left side, Gallon. Gallon gets hit hard, trying to lunge forward for a first down. As he pushes the football forward to the 46 and a half yard line, Sylvester Wright made the one-two. You just take advantage of that five-yard penalty. Third and one, tied in right. Quick count, Watson on a quarterback sneak. He gained one earlier in a first down on a QB sneak. 
This time it's going to be a little bit closer as Kansas stuffing the middle of the play. First down, Kansas State. Again, the quick count, quarterback sneak. And with New Year up there, Kansas a very big and talented defensive front. But Stan New Year is a kid on the side, tight end left. Here's Russ Campbell. Two receivers to the right, Mike Smith and Frank Hernandez. Gal in the single back behind Watson. Kansas again, lining up tight in the gaps. And Kansas State is forced to call timeout to avoid a delay of game. And the Wildcats have just one timeout left in the first half. 47-yard line. 3-3 tie. K-State scored on its first possession. Kansas took advantage of an interception to get an eye cloth field goal. Kansas again, 10 men on the line of scrimmage here, giving Kansas State another different look. Handoff left side, Gallon. Gallon's at the 50, he's at the 45. Gallon is tripped up as he gets forward to the 37-yard line. Doug Terry ankle tackled Gallon. But Kansas, we mentioned, at 10 men on the line of scrimmage. If you can get the, through the first line of defense, Dan, you'll have a good game. Exactly. If you can just find some type of crack through that 10 guys, you've only got one guy to beat, and that's Doug Terry, the free safety. And he was able to get over and stop a touchdown run from occurring. But Kansas State opened that slight hole up, and Eric Gallon burst off left tackle and picked up good yardage for the Wildcats. 16-yard gain by Gallon, tackled by Terry. is sixth of the ball game in the NL playoffs. The Pirates lead Atlanta 1-0 in the first inning. Two receivers to the right, flanker left is Benton. First down, K-State at the Jayhawk 37, 3-3 tie. Just under nine minutes left to go in the first half. Going left on the option is Watson. He'll keep flag on the play. Watson gains yardage to the 32. Gains five yards on the option of the short side left center of the football game. Flanker left, Gerald Benton. Tight end left is Russ Campbell. Football at the 47, KU's 47. K-State first and 20 there. 3-3 tie, 839 left to go in the half. Watson reading the defense now, changing the play at the line of scrimmage. Four seconds on the play clock. Watson back to throw, sets up in the pocket, being rushed, dumps it off to Rawlings, makes a catch, and squirts forward to the 40-yard line. Gain of seven. Kansas defensive coverage by true freshman Don Davis out of Olathe South. Same exact play, Mitch, that was run in scoring territory. Yard line. Gallon back into the game as a single setback behind Watson. Kansas again, seven men up near... Within five yards of the football. Tight end left is Campbell. Sprint draw left side. Gallon trying to sweep left. He won't get there. Kansas, great defense. Two men there, Doug Terry and Sylvester Wright. Doug Terry, and they're only averaging, letting other teams run 3.2 yards per carry. That's excellent. Benton wide to the left. Two receivers right, Hernandez and Smith. Third down, 15 for Kansas. State of the Jayhawk, 42. Back to throw, Watson. Setting up in the pocket, lofting a pass near side for Mike Smith. It's knocked away in a great defensive play. Don Davis was burned on the play, but caught up quickly to knock it away on a huge defensive coverage for Kansas. Sean Snyder has 149-yard punt to his credit. He'll try one here, trying to angle the kick. This is a high spiraling kick, which goes out of bounds. They'll mark it out of bounds where? At the eight-yard line. The punt goes for 38 yards, but most impressively, down. Tony Sands has five carries for five yards. He'll get the call here, trying to get outside, and he's tripped up as he falls forward to the 12-yard line and picks up four yards on first down. Sands mentioned five consecutive 100-yard rushing games. 100 yards in his career. He's already have had 560 yards before he started this football game. Two receivers left for Kansas. High formation play fake by Hillary. Rolling left, now throws the football, and the pass is caught with a great catch at the 19-yard line by Matt Gay. An acrobatic catch by Gay. Roger Green covered the play well, but now Kansas will have third down. Three tie here, 6.30 left to go, first half. Tied in right, Dwayne Chandler. Slot eye formation. Now Drayton goes in motion left to right. Toss sweep right side, Tony Sands. He is hit, hit again, and dropped. At the 20-yard line, gain of one for Sands. Brent Venables, who has been used in kind of backup situations for Kansas State in the first four games, makes his second nice defensive play in this contest. The tackle. Slot right is Drake. Back to throw is Hillary. Looking right, fires the football complete to Matt Gay. Sheds one tackler, dives forward, first down Kansas at the 31-yard line. On a second and nine play, the Jayhawks pick up the first down on a 10-yard pass play. Roger Green on the stop for K-State. Hillary now throwing the ball. That time, after making a one-handed catch on an earlier play, is able to make a catch, break a tackle, and pick up the first down. Gay wide to the right, flanker left, great play fake by Hillary. Back to throw, fires a pass, and has Drayton at the 45-yard line. Puts on a juke move and falls forward to the 47. 
Drayton, his first catch in the game. Now Drayton has 27 straight games as a Kansas Jayhawk with a catch. Patterson and Green on this tackle for K-State. Right along with Matt Gay. Tight end left is Chandler. High formation for Hillary Long Count. Hand off at the middle to Robin. Falls forward. Gaining three yards to the 49-yard line. Stoughton thrown seven of 12 plays being passes. High formation. Flanker right Drayton. Splitting left Gay. Back to throw Hillary. Now his protection breaking down, still moving left. The elusive Hillary throws the football and throws it away. Pass. The receiver in the area was Chandler, but a smart play by Hillary to unload it to avoid a sack. And Kansas third down, seven for Kansas. Football at zone 49. Two receivers right, tied in and a flanker left. Hillary now changing the play. Nine seconds on the play clock. Kansas State showing blitz here against Hillary. Back to throw as Hillary unloads a fade route. Far side, the pass is going to be... Incomplete caught out of bounds by Matt Gay. Outstanding effort by the Kansas receiver, but he ran out of room. Roger Green covered the play for Kansas State. Matt holds KU on a third down play. And Eichloff will have to punt for the third time in the game. Football of the 49. Mike Smith, the lone Wildcat back. Eichloff gets the kick away. This is a line drive kick. Smith will take it on the fly at the 10. He's at the 15, 20. Flag on the play as Smith goes down at the 15, and K-State might have clipped on the return. A 41-yard punt by Eichloff. Well, it's oftentimes good to just take the red shirt year rather than putting a player who's only playing at partial speed out in the field. It really puts him in a risky situation. He could get injured worse. Speaking of risky situations, Kansas State has first and 10, and it's on six-yard line. I formation tied in left. They're going to try to run the ball. Kit Rawlings. And Rawlings gets up to the nine-yard line for a gain of two yards. Just called a drive start at the seven-yard line. Bulls are able to score right before halftime. Tight end left, Campbell. Pro eye formation. Laird Garner wide to the right side. Mike Smith is a flanker left. Kit Rawlings, the eye back. Madden, the fullback, on second and seven. Back to throw is Watson. He's hit. And they're going to rule it an incompleted forward pass. Watson got hit at the two-yard line, and he got mashed by Kyle Moore. But a quarterback hurry by Moore and an incompletion. And a second time, he's had a near sack. Has had one sack and a near sack there. Paul Watson throwing the football while being hit. Definitely had his... 327 left to go in the half. 3-3 tie. K-State with its back at the wall. Back to throw is Watson. He'll throw out of his own end zone. Pump faking. Now throwing long, looking for the receiver on the far side. And the pass is broken up. Mike Smith, the intended receiver. Paul Friday over there and Hassan Bailey over there to break it up and K-State's got a punt from its own end zone. His biggest challenge is back deep Matt Gay for Kansas as a deep man. Short man is Charlie Bowen. High snap. Snyder spiraling kick away. It's going to bounce at the 45. It takes a Kansas bounce. A Kansas player, a blocker, Bailey got over in the area but did not touch him. Now the ball continues to roll. And will be down at the 48-yard line. And out of the roll, Snyder will get a 38-yard punt, but Kansas has good field position with 3.05 left to go in the first half, and the game tied at 3-3. 24 Kansas win. Now the Jayhawks have Drayton with flanker left. Split in right is Jimmy New. I formation. Play action fake by Hillary. He's going to roll left. He wants to run the football. He's at the 45, and he slides to a stop at the 41-yard line. Picks up seven yards. Coming up strong was Roger Green. Hillary, though, did the NFL slide trick to avoid the hit from Green, but a nice pickup by Hillary of seven yards, and Hillary that time looked like that great one-handed catch by Matt Gay was the same play. High formation, pro eye set, handoff Sands trying to sweep right, and he gets hit by Tony Williams and knocked down. No gain on the play and maybe a loss. Line of scrimmage was the 41, a loss of a half yard, and Kansas has third down, let's call it a long three with a football at the Kansas State 42 and a half yard line. 3-3 tie, 214 left in the half. Big time play by the defensive lineman Tony Williams who got off of his block, angled inside and tackled Sands for a loss. With the K-State 41 and a half. Drayton wide to the left, Jimmy New wide to the right eye formation. 4-3 defense, back to throw Hillary. Fires a pass, it's knocked away! Great play by Jamie Mendez! Mendez! Last year, all of them mentioned all league as a freshman free safety. Makes an all-big-eight play there. 
He really did. Dwayne Chandler, the tight end, was going across the formation. Jamie Mendez came over and covered him man to man, and the football was out in front of Dwayne Chandler. Jamie Mendez was behind, but he laid his body out, put his right hand around without interfering, and knocked the football down. And at 55, left to go in the half. Fourth down three for Kansas. They faked a year ago. This would be a prime spot for a fake. But Eichloff will kick. This is an angling right to left, high spiraling kick. K-State gets out of the way. It takes a backwards bounce, and it's down by Roger Robin at the 19-yard line. And Eichloff gets a 23-yard, 22-yard punt reception. He came in with a 70% completion percentage. He was 77% against Washington throwing the ball. Hand off goes to Kit Rawlings, the lone setback in a formation. He gets stuffed for a two-yard loss back at the 18-yard line. F and a big third down here now for Kansas State. You mentioned the Virginia game is a prime example of Kansas. will take the half clock right down to the final second. We here talked about Glenn Mason. If he would call timeout, he didn't. But Kansas State, by throwing an incomplete pass, stops the clock with a minute three. Now it's third down. If Kansas State doesn't pick up a first down, Glenn Mason will react, call timeout, and take a chance of getting that punt and getting Eichloff in field goal position. So the drop pass gives Kansas possibly a chance if they don't pick up a first down here. They're down 12 for K-State. Football to the 19. Flanker right, Andre Coleman. Two receivers to the left. Single back is Gallon. Back to throw Watson. Stumbles. Now he's trying to, to run the draw and miss Gallon on the handoff. And Kansas will get a sack back at the 11-yard line. And Kansas will call timeout with 50 seconds, 51 seconds left to go in the half. Check to see who got the sack for Kansas. The Citians on this K-State football team. Sean Snyder will punt with a 41-yard average on three punts. This time he'll punt five yards deep in the end zone. Matt Gay back to take the punt for KU. Kansas coming hard on the rush. Snyder with the kick away. He's hit as he punt and a flag thrown. It'll be roughing the kicker on Kansas. We have talked about how penalties have hurt Kansas, actually both football teams. This is a monster punt. Now will the call be running into the kicker or roughing the kicker? As the punt goes all the way down to the 28-yard line, a 60-yard punt. But Kansas State will carefully look at its options here. They do need to pick up 19 yards for a first down. Roughing the kicker would be a personal foul. And I believe an automatic first down, but running into the kicker is only an assessed yardage penalty and would not be enough for the first down stand. That's why the punt is so important, driving Kansas back to the 28 at worst. I think. Nothing the kicker. Defense. Automatic first down. There you go. You got the answer. Automatic first down, roughing the kicker instead of running into the kicker. Big call. Kansas has made that mistake last week also. Twice they ran into the Virginia kicker. Mitch Hiltis along with Stan Weber at KSU Stadium's Wagner Field. Sweep left goes to Gallon. A single setback in the formation. Gallon gets to the 20. The Jayhawks have stiffened up. And we have intermission at KSU Stadium's Wagner Field. The Sunflower Civil War for the 89th time is deadlocked at 3. 3-3 three, three tie in ball network. Very impressive. But all date. K-State's been able to keep the ball away from Kansas. Warren Clawson will kick off right to left. As we start play here in the third quarter, Clawson kicks it deep. Backs up Chaka Johnson one yard deep in the end zone. K-State may change its kicking a bit. Warren Clawson may get the job on deep kickoffs. Play the birthday game from the Kansas Lottery win $100,000. Somebody else. Flanker right, split in left. Back to throw is Hillary on first down. Throws to the Chandler, the tight end. Dwayne Chandler's at the 30. And Chandler up to the 35-yard line. Gain of 15 on first down for the Kansas offense. Joe Boone defense that Kansas throws on first down. That's true, Mitch. But Dwayne Chandler is a big, strong sophomore from McPherson, Kansas. He caught the football near the sideline. Roger Green was right there in position to make a tackle, but Dwayne Chandler just flipped him to the side. And First down, Kansas football at their own 35-yard line. Just underway, toss sweep near side, Sands. He gets sandwiched by about four Wildcats. Brooks Barta got there first. So did Jody Killian got there. Joe Boone on piles. Gain from the 37. For the ball placed now at the... Dan Schmitz got M. Wally. Keith Lonecker. 
I formation. Robin. It's now Kansas. Bringing up their two backs tight on second down and eight. Hillary wants to throw the football. Short drop, checking off long, throwing long, and overthrows his intended receiver, Matt Gay. William Price was on the coverage for Kansas State. We saw Kansas throw football at its own 37-yard line. Wide to the left, Jim New. Single back, Robin. Two receivers to the right, Gay and Drake. Back to throw is the quarterback, and it goes through the hands as Hillary trying to throw to the near side. William Price covered the play. It's an incompleted forward pass. Gay was the intended receiver. Let's go to Dan Ballou. Dan Eichloff will try to punt. Back deep, Michael Smith. Kansas State coming hard. The kick is partially blocked. But it still moves forward and takes a Kansas bounce inside the 30, inside the 25, inside the 20, and will roll down near the 15-yard line, inside the 15, and down to the 14-yard line. Rod Schiller, who was in the lineup, got through. It looks like he partially blocked the kick, and still it goes for 48 yards. Dan Eichloff has a strong leg. Dan Eichloff does have a strong leg, and he has a lot of fortune this season. It's the third time he's had a kick partially blocked. The first two times were the, against Toledo in the first game of the season. Both plays didn't count because there was a penalty on the defense. Punt that was partially blocked. Yeah, it was true. Tied into the left side, Al Jones. Tied in right, Russ Campbell. So a different formation here. A tight formation with two tight ends and a lone receiver away from the formation. Eye formation for Paul Watson. First down for K-State at the 14-yard line. 3-3 tie, minute and a half deep into the third quarter. Hand off to Gallon. He's in trouble trying to elude Jayhawks and can't. In fact, he'll lose a yard back at the 13. Kansas with outstanding defensive penetration. Steve Harvey, the middle linebacker, and Hassan Bailey, the outside linebacker, read the play and was right there on Gallon. Well, Mitch, you said two things there. You said penetration. You said Hassan Bailey. That's the real change in the Kansas defense. That quick player gets across the line of scrimmage. He goes into the backfield, tries to make thing ha things happen. Last season, the slot right is Smith. Coleman is wide to the left. Single back is Gallon. Tight in left is Russ Campbell. Back to throw Watson. Looks right, fires right. Pass complete to Frank Hernandez, but he's roped for a stop. After a short gain, he advances the ball to the 17. And mark it at the 16 for a gain of Stan Weber. Third down and six for the Wildcats. Football at their own 17-yard line. Now a fumble on the play. Center to quarterback exchange, and Kansas has the football. And Kansas State has turned it over for the third time in the football game, twice deep in its own territory, and Kansas recovers a fumble at the Kansas State 16-yard line. Gilbert Brown recovers the fumble. And now Kansas with a great opportunity. First down at the Wildcats, 16-yard line, I formation. Roger Robin, the fullback, gets the call, and he gets up to the 11-yard line for a gain of five on first down. Chris Patterson makes the tackle. On the partial punt block that still went for 48 yards, it was not Schiller. Now now Kansas has second and five at the 11-yard line of Kansas State. Hand off up the middle to Robin. He dives over a stack of cats, gets to the nine, and then no more. So it's third down. Let's call it three for the Jayhawks at the Wildcat nine-yard line. Brent Venables makes the hit on Roger Robin. They run the same play twice, once to the right side with the Robin, this time to the left side. Kansas State stacked it up well. Roger Robin tried to jump over the top, but Venables was right there to stop him for a short gain. Third down, they now say it's four yards to third and four Jayhawks. Football at the Wildcat 10, 3-3 three, three tie. 11-02 left to go third quarter. Single back Robin, two receivers to the right. Hillary back to throw, two-step drop, fires a pass near side, Drayton, he gets hit, covered up at the six-yard line near a first down. Chris Patterson made the tackle. But a very, very They stretch the chains, and Kansas will be short by about four inches. Kansas, fourth down, four inches to go for a first down at the Kansas State six-yard line. And Kansas will go for it here. No indication of bringing on Dan Eichloff to kick the down the field. Jody Killian, Steve Moten in the game for Kansas State. And timeout has been called by Kansas State with 10.51 left to go, third quarter. Kansas will have fourth down and about four inches to go for a first down. They've got the football at the Wildcats six-yard line. Mitch, K-State has only 10 players on the field. Kansas State with 10 guys on the field, and K-State's got to call another timeout. Two of the three timeouts called 
in a half now called by Kansas State because Stan they had only 10 players on the field. Mitch Holtis back along with Stan Weber. Very costly. Two timeouts called by Kansas State. First they call timeout to try to set up its defense to stop this fourth down and four inch play for Kansas at the Wildcats six. Then secondly Kansas State had only ten men on the field after the timeout and was forced to call timeout again. Now Kansas will line up in a double tight end to the right with one set as a wing. Also fullback that way. And off goes to Cousins. The fullback he gets hit and driven back. I'm not sure he got it. Kansas State all over. The fullback Monty Cousins, Brent Venables, Chris Patterson there for Kansas State. Kansas State has held. So they have two timeouts used up. Or have they marked the football? Have they given the signal yet? They're going to bring in the chains. They're not sure now. Both teams. They're going to bring out the chains to measure. Kansas has requested the measurement. But Stan, a costly two timeouts called to hold Kansas. They'll stretch the chains. Kansas did not get the first down. They're six inches short. They lost two inches on the run. Brent Venables hasn't played very much. He's played sparingly as a two and a three at linebacker. Today in this football game, Brent Venables has come up with five tackles. A big issue and a small issue. And when you make the play like that and stop them, that's the big issue. The timeouts are the smaller ones. So the important thing is Kansas State stopped them. It's a bad discipline play to call two times out in that situation. But overall, the important point was that Kansas State stopped them. I uh, formation tied in right. Toss sweep right to Gallant, trying to get outside. He slips by one tackler. Now rolls forward and fights up to the 13-yard line for a gain of seven. Kansas State's got a problem, Stan. They have not been able to move the ball on Kansas consistently since the opening drive. Game here, when they get in their trips formation, they've got open receivers. I think Kansas State needs to throw and become more aggressive. Tight end right, Russ Campbell. Eye formation, flanker left. Hand off left to Gallon on a sweep play. He's got blockers in front of him, breaks two tackles. Has a first down at the 20-yard line and gains six yards. Hard running and blocking by Kansas State offensively. Steve Harvey made the tackle, but two running play there in the open field. They may start throwing here anytime soon. High formation. K-State three turnovers in this game. All the responsibility of Paul Watson. He has two fumbles and an interception. First down here for the Wildcats. Their own 20-yard line. 9.40 left to go. Third quarter sweep play near side. Gallon this time in trouble. Flag on the play. As Gallon thrown back. This time from the 20 back to the 17. Dana Stubblefield and Steve Harvey made the tackle for Kansas. So has Mike Orr. Second down 14 for the Wildcats. Football at their own 16. 3-3 tie. Third quarter, 9.25 left to go. Back to throw Watson. Deep drop. Sets up. Looks right. Pumps. Now fires a pass. Al Jones can't get there. The pass beyond the outstretched arms of Al Jones incomplete. And Jones was open. And K-State's got third down. 14 at its own 16-yard line. It was a slow to standing in efficiency. It's 70% throwing the football. Came in at 55 of 80. Third down 14 for the Wildcats. Football of their own 16, 3-3 three, three tie. Back to throw Watson, setting up, firing right. The pass is going to be incomplete through the outstretched arms of Michael Smith. Paul Friday covering for Kansas on the far sideline. So after two running plays, it picked up a first down. The holding penalty cost K-State. Two incompleted passes, and now the Wildcats forced to punt. And that's a really discouraged. It's very tough for a receiver to make a catch. Back to punt, Sean Snyder at his own three-yard line. Good snap back to him by Matt Hemphill. This is a wobbly kick by Snyder. He's going to get a Kansas State bounce. 35-30, 25-20, continues to roll. And Kansas State will touch it at the 19-yard line. Sean Snyder, the big punt on the roll, 64 yards. Snyder's punts today. As we take a gander, he's had a couple long ones. Snyder's had punts of 49, 34, 39, and 64 yards. Timeout on the field, a 3-3 tie, 8-50. Field of 3 3 tie, 850. Sixth in the nation rushing the ball. They fake the toss sweep. Hillary will keep. He's at the cross the 25 and gets up to the 20. Mark him down at the 28 yard line. That's a gain of nine on first down from the 19 to the 28. Laird Veach. Wide to the left side, Drayton and Jim, or correction, Matt Gay. Tied in right, Chandler. And up up the middle to Robin. 
He gets popped, but he has a first down as he runs hard across the 30, the 33-yard line, and then some hard-hitting Joe Boone. And Laird Veach hitting. Boone has eight tackles unofficially. He tied. Twins set to the left side. Tight end right Chandler. I formation. Sands and Robin behind. Chip Hillary. Toss sweep. Sands short side. They say trying to string it out. Sands gets forced out of bounds at the 36-yard line and a gain of three. Brooks Barta there to force him out of bounds. What a great play by Brooks Barta. I was watching him on that play when I saw the sweep. Barta. Sands had an outstanding year here. 89, 31 carries, 217, a 59 yard and a 62 yard. Had a touchdown on that very play a couple years ago. Play fake on the draw. Hillary guns a pass left, complete to the tight end, Dwayne Chandler. He has a first down and gets up to the Kansas State, or his own rather, 47 yard line. Gain of 10 yards. Roger Green made the tackle for K State. Gonzalez in now at cornerback, replacing Roger Green. He'll cover Matt Gay, who's wide to the right in the slot. Is Drake back to throw? Is Hillary. Now trying to move to his left, talks the football, is in trouble moving left in his sack back at the 45-yard line, loss of two. Elijah Alexander picks up his fourth sack of the season. Joe Boone helped him out. Kansas two yards, now it's second and 12 Jayhawks. Football at their own 45-yard line, 720 left to go third quarter, the game tied at three. That was definitely a coverage sack, Kansas State defensive line. Break the huddle. Center Dan Schmidt, it was a tackle. They moved him over now to the center spot. You might remember Chip Buddy, their outstanding center, graduating after being a four-year great player for them. Second down, 12. Hillary, play fake on the draw. Quick throw down the far sideline for Drayton, and he overthrows him. Drayton had a step on William Price, but an overthrow by Hillary. Hillary State on the defensive line. Flanker left is Drayton. That's to the short side of the field. Wide receiver right is Jimmy New. Back to throw is Hillary. Quick pass across the middle of the tight end. Chandler completed the 35 down to the 31 of Kansas State. First down, Jayhawks. Greg Patterson made the tackle, but Dwayne Chandler, the tight end, was wide open. It'll go as a pass play of 24 yards to the Kansas State. And in front of strong safety, Greg Patterson. Chandler lines up as a tight end left. Again, his brother played here at K-State. Toss sweep near side, Sands. Sands across the 30. Runs hard to the 28 and gains three yards. Chris Patterson came from the outside, back into the inside to wrap up Sands after a gain of three. Sands, who entered the game, corner, trying to cover Kenny Drayton. He's wide to the left. Hillary looking at K-State's defensive set on second down and seven at the Wildcat 28. Back to throw is Hillary. Quick toss left side. Chandler, the tight end, makes the grab. Now Dice said he dropped the football. Nice strip by Jamie Mendez on the far side to strip the ball away from Dwayne Chandler. It was the same type play we saw earlier when Chandler was running out and Mendez was behind him, reaching out his hand. Last time it was right hand. This time, Jamie Mendez reaches out his left hand, knocks the football away, and what would have been a first down catch for Kansas forces an incompletion and puts Kansas in third and long. Third down into the game, 29 of 63 on third down conversions. Third and seven Jayhawks at the Wildcat. 28-yard line. Eye formation for Hillary. Toss sweep, near side Sands. He gets one by one tackler, trying to get by another and can't. Goes down inside the 25 of the 24-yard line. He is short of a first down by three yards. Elijah Alexander, Chris Patterson made the stop for the K-State Wildcats. We talked about a chess game. That time Kansas tried to move a pawn to take a night. Well, the reason why they ran that football is not so much to make a first down. They're thinking, we got the best field goal kicker in the nation. Let's just move him up five more yards and get three points here and go and go into the lead. So they moved a 46-yard field goal up to a 41-yarder with that play. Eichloff will try a 42-yard field goal from this distance. He is 6 of 9 in his career, 2 of 3 this year. The kick is up, a high spinning kick that is up, and no good! He missed it wide to the right side. Eichloff with a miss, only for the fourth time in his career from this distance. Kansas State takes over at the line of scrimmage, their own 24-yard line. A big miss for the Kansas State Wildcats to keep this game tied 3-3. Three three. That was a 11-play drive by the Kansas Jayhawks. They finally looked like they were getting into their rhythm. But Kansas State turns them away on a missed field goal, turned them away earlier in this half, in this quarter, with a fourth down play. And Kansas State is very fortunate to be tied 3-3 three three right now. It's time for the Wildcats to turn it on if they want to win the game. Nebraska leads Oklahoma State 28-3 in the third quarter. Colorado 24, Missouri nothing in the third. Oklahoma Kansas defensively has stifled K-State since the opening drive. The Wildcats, first down and 10, football of their own 24. Single back is Gallon, back to throw Watson, quick out right side, complete to Hernandez, just to dive and make the catch at the 31-yard line, gain of seven. 
Again, the signature play by Kansas State, the quick out, but Stan, you know that they can run those outs at different levels down the field. That was catch the ball in his fingertips. That is the hardest throw you can have, throwing it over someone and underneath the defensive back, but a nice throw by Paul Watson. Second down three for K-State football. At its own 31-yard line, 422 left to go third quarter. K-State and KU tied at three apiece. K-State shifts to a three-receiver formation left side. Back to throw Watson, pumping once. Now looking back to the right, time to throw. Now he'll run. Watson dives forward. Fumbles a football. The ball's loose, and Kansas has the football at the 31-yard line of Kansas State. And Paul Watson's fumbled for the third time in his football game. He also has an interception, four turnovers. Will they rule him down, though? Hang on. No official signal given yet. Will they rule him down on the play? Kansas says they have the football. Kansas State. We are awaiting a decision here. It is Kansas football. They ruled it a fumble by Paul Watson. Kansas takes over at the 31-yard line. And let there be no mistake, it was a good call. Paul Watson was on the way down. Kansas State defensively, Jody Killian on the defensive front, along with Evan Simpson. First down, Jayhawks at the 31 of the Wildcats. Hillary, play fake, wants to throw the football, throws near sideline, the pass is caught by Kenny Drayton at the one-yard line. A 30-yard pass play from the quarterback, Chip Hillary, to Kenny Drayton, and it's first and goal to go, Kansas at the one. Now there's the more controversial play of the two. The ball was laid up. Jamie Mendez was fighting right there with Kenny Drayton to catch the football. Drayton appeared to have the football, but Mendez hit him as they were flying in the air together, and the football was laying on the ground when it was all said and done. But the referee said he caught the football and then was down and then lost the football. It was not an incomplete pass. Kansas picks up the big play down to the one-yard line. Kansas will have first and goal at the one. 3.46 left to go, third quarter, 3-3 tie. Hillary hands it off to Cousins. And Cousins is thrown back. Back at the two-yard line. Jamie Mendez made the stop for Kansas State. Hillary becomes a weapon in the scoring zone. We mentioned he's got seven touchdowns this year, five tackles for Mendez in the game. Hillary, though, seven rushing touchdowns. That's already half the Kansas school record. Second down goal to go, Kansas. They mark it at the one-yard line, so they give Cousins Monty Cousins, forward progress at the one. Wing right, Jimmy New. High formation, set play, fake by Hillary. Rolling to his left, wants to throw the football, has a man in the end zone. Well, they're going to say touchdown. No official signals given yet. Yes, it is touchdown, Kansas. Touchdown off the play fake pass from the quarterback, Chip Hillary. And the Jayhawks get a touchdown. I believe Dwayne Chandler, the tight end, made the catch. Good play by the Kansas Jayhawks. They faked the ball up the middle. Chip Hillary rolled out to the left, looking for his receiver on the left corner of the end zone. He was covered, but then he stopped his momentum, looked back to the middle of the field. No one was covering Jim New. Jim New caught the football seven yards deep into Kansas State end zone, diving to the ground. He did catch the football. First touchdown of the game goes to the Kansas Jayhawks. Off a turnover, a fumble by Paul Watson, and then a 30-yard pass play from Hillary to Drake. Eichloff's kick is blocked. The Wildcats get through to block the kick. Jamie Mendez, I believe, got through to block the point after try by Dan Eichloff, only his second miss in his career on a PAT at Kansas. He had one at Toledo and now one today. Nine to three, Kansas. 2.58 left to go, third quarter. Back with the Jayhawk kick after this timeout from your favorite local Wildcat station. Jamie Mendez blocks a Dan Eichloff point after touchdown, but Kansas has the first touchdown of the game, and the Jayhawks lead 9-3. Eichloff with that strong leg with a high, booming, spinning kick. It backs up Andre Coleman nine yards deep in the end zone. He'll go to a knee, and K-State will take over. At the 20-yard line, first and 10, 9-3 Kansas. 2.58 left to go, third quarter. 
football to start a drive. They started in Kansas State territory. Smargesso in the quarterback for Paul Watson against turn has turned it over four times. Smargesso struggled at Washington. Looking at the clock, moving down at nine seconds. There's a single back gallon behind him. Two receivers set to the left side. One to the right. Smargesso back to throw on first down. On a deep drop, in trouble. Steps up, runs into a man. Now will run out of the pocket. He's at the 25, he's at the 30. Smargesso, 35, he's up to the 38-yard line. One thing he can do is run the football. Paul Watson can as well, but Smargesso just a little more athletic running the football. That time running out of the pocket, Don Davis made the tackle. But a run of 16 yards for K-State. Let's mark it 18 yards. Football down at the 38-yard line. Let's pause 10 seconds for station ID on the Wildcat Network. Mitch Holtis along with Stan Weber, Kurt Ness, Carla Van Nostren, Dan Ballou, Jeff Grantham, Ed O'Donnell. Here at KSC Stadium's Wagner Field. 9-3 Kansas, back to throw Smargesso. He's in trouble, alludes to Jayhawks, trying to scramble, gets back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe gained a yard up to the 40-yard line. It'll be second down and nine for Kansas State football. He has thrown four interceptions. He has two touchdowns, both in the Idaho State game, and both to Andre Coleman. Second down, nine. K-State football at the, their own 39-yard line. Smargesso back to throw, two-step drop, quarterback draw. Smargesso gets knocked down at the 40-yard line after another gain of one. Steve Harvey, the middle linebacker, read the play and knocked down Smargesso. But he needs to do it within the context of, of his teammates' offense. Like a right, Smith, splitting left Hernandez. Single back is Gallon. Third and nine for the Wildcats at the 39, their own. Back to throw, Smargesso again in trouble. Throws the football away to avoid the sack. Kyle Moore was all over him, and K-State's got to punt the football. As Kansas was all over the sophomore quarterback yard average, he had a 64-yard punt. It's now a legal procedure penalty against Kansas State as the Wildcats commit a penalty, and it'll cost the Wildcats five yards. 46-yard average for Sean Snyder. Referees are discussing it here, Mitch, because if it's before the ball snapped, you can move if you don't have your hand down in a three-point position, and Kansas State's punt team never has their hands down in a three-point position. So if they wave this flag off, they will. Disregard the penalty! Game has been Kansas defensively holding Kansas State, plus the Wildcats, four turnovers, all by Paul Watson. This is a line drive kick by Snyder, taken at the 22 by New. Goes to the left side, rather. Matt Gay takes it, and Gay gets up to the 29-yard line. 39-yard punt by Snyder. Matt Gay on the return in Kansas with a 9-3 lead. Has the football back with 37 seconds left in the third quarter. Five. High formation for the Jayhawks. Wide to the right, Matt Gay. Chandler, double tight ends now. So he goes in motion right to left. Toss sweep left side to Sands. Kansas wanting to power the football. Sands gets knocked down after a short gain. Gets across the 30-yard line. Up to the 32 for a gain of three. Price and Patterson. On the outside coverage. Now Jolts is back at KSU Stadium's Wagner Field. Kansas second down and seven. Football at their own 32. KU leads 9-3. This is the first play of the fourth quarter. Chandler again is the wing right. Kansas handoff at the middle to Robin. Robin across the 35. Leaps forward to the 37-yard line. Picks up five yards. Be a couple yards short of a first down. Brent Venables and Brooks Bart on the tackle for Kansas State. That's when he'll pick up five or six and, six and put you in a third and short situation. Third down, two for Kansas. Lone receiver away from the formation is Matt Gay. Tight end to the right, Hillary. Play fake. Rolling right. He has the option to run or pass. He's hit a knockdown. Great defensive play, Elijah Alexander. The play fake, and then he has the option to either run or throw, Stan, and an all-big eight play by Alexander. We talk about third down plays being very big. That time, Chip Hillary faked inside, rolled out to the outside. Keith Loniker, uh, second team all big eight tackle, was out there blocking Elijah Alexander. Looked like Kansas had the whole advantage. He could run, he could throw, he had someone blocking Alexander. But no, Alexander gets off the block, makes the tackle, and forces Kansas to punt. Eichloff will punt, standing at his own 20 yard line. Kansas State trying to set up the return. This is a huge, booming punt by Eichloff. It backs up Mike Smith at the six yard line. Mike trying to get outside. He's at the 15 and gets hammered. 
as he goes down to the 19-yard line. A huge punt by Eichloff of 59 yards. Kansas State will take over. The State's defense is able to force them to punt after only three plays. Smargesso in for Paul Watson, who turned the ball over four times. Back to throw Smargesso. Quick out, complete to Hernandez. As he makes the catch down near his ankles. Seven-yard pickup to the 27. Tim Hill on the Kansas with Steve Douglas now in at right tackle, moving in. Right end is Brian Christian. Second down, two yards to go for K-State. Football at the 27. Their own, handoff to Gallon. Gallon has a first down across the 30. It goes down at the 31-yard line. First and 10 Wildcats. Sylvester Wright made the stick for KU. That's the way that Kansas State needs to run the football here in the remaining part of the football game. Off the draw action, three-step drop and throw a quick pass. Forced him to throw the pass. He had no choice dropping deep in the pocket to run or pass. He had to throw that quick pass, and it was complete. Three receivers to the right. Tied in left is Campbell. Single back is Gallup. Smargesso looks over the Kansas defense. Back to throw in a deep drop. Big penetration by KU. Smargesso in trouble. Now trying to get away from the rush. Smargesso, 35. He's at the 40 and gets up across the 45 to the 47-yard line. A gain of 16 on the scramble by Smargesso. Tim Hill made the tackle for KU. Great athletic play by Jason Smargesso. Looking to his left, there was nothing there. He was on a left hash mark, and he saw an opening to the right. This guy has great speed for a quarterback. He outran the Kansas State defense, clear to the right side of the field, was tackled near the right sideline at the 46-yard line, the 46 and a half, actually, and a big first down for the Wildcats. Grayson 10 at their own 46, 9 to 3, Kansas. 12-14 left to go in the ball game. Three receivers left, one to the right. Smargesso, handoff to Gallon. He's hit for a loss. He's knocked down back at the 45 for a loss of one. Chris Mamalonga, the sophomore from Hawthorne, California. Tackle for Kansas, Mamalonga's second, third tackle of the ball game. Clean Kansas State for a loss. Gallon single back behind Smargesso. Tight end right is Russ Campbell. Actually, double tight ends is Al Jones, the left side. Smargesso, play fake. Moving right, throws the football, and through the hands of Russ Campbell, incomplete. He was hit as the ball arrived by Paul Friday. The incompletion gives K-State third of the football with only 11 minutes left in the football game. Hernandez wide to the left. Slot left is Smith. Third and 11 for the Wildcats. Football of their own 45. Kansas again with 10 men on the line of scrimmage. Play clock at two seconds. And K-State's got to call timeout. Their final timeout used at 11.24 left in the game. And KU leading 9-3. Let's take this break. Kansas with a 9-3 lead. You're listening to your favorite local Wildcat station. Third down, 11 for the Wildcats. Football at their own 45. 11-24 left in the game. 9-3 Kansas. Two receivers to the right. Two to the left. Single back is Gallup. Back to throw Smargesso on a deep drop. Sets up, fires a long out route. That is caught by Hernandez at the Kansas 37-yard line. The deep out thrown by Smargesso to Hernandez for a Wildcat first down. That's when you take advantage of Jason Smargesso. He has a gun for an arm. That is a very long throw down the field. He threw that football 35 yards downfield and 20 yards across field. Frank Hernandez, what a great catch. He caught the football, just touched his toe down right at the last second. Big third down play, and now Kansas State has the advantage. They've got the football at the 37. They're seven yards, 37 yards from taking the lead with an and 10 for the Wildcats at the Jayhawk 37, 9-3 KU. Double tight ends with an eye formation. Smargesso looking at the Kansas defense. Wide to the right is Michael Smith. Now the quick snap goes to Smargesso, who fumbles the football. It's going to be a live football. I believe Kansas has the football. They do. Kansas State jumped across, but there was no flag thrown, and Kansas picks it up on a weird turnover. At the 40-yard line, Paul Friday picked it up for Kansas. Five turnovers for K-State. Mitch, we got to take you through that play right there. Kansas State uses a stand-up tight end. They had two tight ends in the football game. One of the tight ends, Al Jones, moved a little bit. Because he wasn't set, he could reset himself. But quarterback Quentin, I mean, center Quentin New Year saw movement. Whenever he sees movement, he snaps the ball thinking it's a defense and they'll get five yards. When he snapped it, he thought he got a five-yard penalty. No, it was Kansas State who moved. Jason Smargesso ran into the line. No Kansas State blockers moved. And when he was hit, the football bounced out. Paul Friday caught it in the air. He could have ran all the way for a touchdown. Kansas State pulled him down there and saved that long run. 
And Kansas picks it up on a strange turnover. And they've got the ball at their own 39-yard line, leading 9-3. Play fake by Hillary. Quick toss to the tight end, complete. He's at the Kansas State 40 and down to the Kansas State 37-yard line. Brent Williford, the freshman tight end for KU, makes the catch. Joe Boone made the tackle for Kansas State. Jimmy Mendez also there. Kansas took a chance there, of, took an opportunity, I mean, to throw the football on Kansas State Wildcats, faking a pitch out to the left, a play that, that they really like. Quarterback Chip Hillary just faked that, spun, and threw the tight end who was on the right side, right down in the middle of the field, and a good game for the Jayhawks. Tight end left is Chandler. Jim New wide to the right, Drayton wide to the left, I formation. First and 10 Jayhawks at the Wildcat, 37-9-3 KU lead. Handoff Rob on the fullback, he is hit. Spins forward on second effort to the 35 to pick up two yards. A Quincy Griffith, Joe Boone on the stop for Kansas State. 10-44 and clicking. Left to go in the football game. 9-3 Kansas. Eight tackles, nine tackles rather for Joe Boone. Ten tackles for Boone. Kansas State's defense continues to play. And Kansas has yet to turn it over in this game. Forcing five Kansas State turnovers. Eichloff play fake, wants to throw the football, now throwing it up for grabs as the quarterback Hillary and throws it out of bounds. An alert play by Hillary because Patterson, Greg Patterson, was steaming right in on the quarterback Chip Hillary. G. Kansas, 10-14 left to go in the game. Hillary with Robin set behind him. Kansas State showing blitz. Now Hillary, 10 seconds on the play clock, changing the play at the line of scrimmage. Hillary back to throw, five-step drop, looking left, throwing long, throwing the football for Jimmy New. The pass is broken up by William Price at the one-yard line. The pass was underthrown. New had his defender Price beat. Second pass broken up by William Price. And here comes a hit for Kansas. Instead, Eichloff in deep punt formation now. Kansas State might have called timeout here, and they don't have any left. The Wildcats are out of timeouts. Let's see what the situation will be here. A flag thrown. They got a delay on a defense. They're out of timeouts. Five yard penalty. Five yard. The wind again, not a factor in this game. Eichloff missed an earlier one. Penalty. Down. Hillary will hold for Kansas as Eichloff has moved up a bit of a yard, usually a seven steps back. It'll be a 47-yard try. Ball placed at the 37, 47-yard try. Fourth down and three. Kansas going a long count, maybe to draw K-State off. Eichloff, a little stutter step, a high, fluttering kick. It is up, and it is good! He got it! And Kansas takes advantage of the five-yard penalty. Kansas State calling timeout with no timeouts left to get five more yards to kick a field goal. And Kansas has a 12-3 lead with 10-01 left to go in the game. Back with a Jayhawk kickoff after this timeout on the Wildcat Football Network. 47-yard field goal, and now Kansas with an all-important three more points to lead 12 to three. This is an angling kick by Eichloff. Andre Coleman can't field it. K-State will take over first and 10 at its own 20 yard line. Now Kansas is ahead by more than seven points. Flanker to the right, Mike Smith. Smargesso stays in at quarterback. Single back is Gallant. Tight end left is Campbell. Back to throw, quick out route. The pass is intercepted by Kansas. Robert Vaughn on the far sideline and he's pushed out of bounds at the 15 yard line. Smargesso with a mistake on the out route throw. Vaughn gets the interception, his second of the ball game, only the fourth of the year for the Jayhawks, fifth of the year rather for the Jayhawks. And Kansas has the football deep in K-State territory with 9.55 left in the game. Robert Vaughn was playing a corner position, but he was playing a deep third. He was just making sure no one got beat. He didn't get beat with anyone behind him. So when Kansas State ran a curl pattern to Frank Hernandez, he just broke on the football thing. Williford tied into the right side. Actually, double tight ends as Chandler lines up as a wing left. Eye formation, split in left. Now Chandler in motion left to right. And off to Robin, the fullback. And he runs hard inside the 10 to the 9-yard line for a gain of 6. 12 can win with two touchdowns. And basically, K-State was going to need two touchdowns anyway to win the game, or at least a touchdown on a field goal. Chandler in motion left to right. Eye formation for KU. Hand off Robin. And he continues to run hard and gains two more yards to the seven on a second and four play. So down in distance for Kansas, seven. High formation again, Chandler. will go in motion left to right. 
Hillary, long count, handoff Robin, the fullback, trying to get second effort. He runs into Brooks Bard, who pushes him back. He's short of a first down. So Kansas has a decision up 12-3 here to try to kick a field goal with 8.30 left to go in the game. Go up 15-3 or go for the first down. I believe they'll have fourth down and a yard to go. Fourth in the game. Kansas 12, K-State 3. Fourth down and one for Kansas. Football at the Wildcats six-yard line. KU will go for it. High formation. Play action fake by Hillary. Wants to throw the football. Throwing near side. The pass is overthrown. Intended for Kenny Drayton. And K-State holds on downs again. Again in this football game, K-State has held Kansas on downs. And the only fault of the defense in this game, Stan Weber, has been management of the timeouts. Other than that, the Wildcats have played their best game defensively. They really haven't played it a good game defensively. They've given Kansas State a chance to continue with an opportunity to win this football game. Paul Watson's going to come back onto the football field with K-State taking over the six. Can't Watson comes back in. He was 8 of 12, 21 when he left for just 74 yards and an interception. So Watson comes back in, a chance for redemption. Tight end left, Campbell. Two receivers to the right, one left. Gallon, the single back behind Watson. Back to throw Watson. Play fake off the draw. Now Watson wants to throw out of his own end zone. Fires a pass, complete to Mike Smith at the 22-yard line. Gain of 16 yards. As Watson was hit by Dennis Stubblefield as he threw. Stubblefield all over Kansas 12, K-State 3. New Year. The center over the football. Clock moving at 7.53. First down, K-State at its own 21-yard line. 12-3 KU. Watson calling the play at the line of scrimmage. Gallon lone setback. Back to throw Watson. Deep drop. Fires left side. Complete. No, that ball's knocked loose. Incompleted forward pass. Gerald Benton was the intended receiver, and he got removed from the football. State second and ten. Football at the 21-yard line of the Wildcats. 7.39 left to go in the ball game. Again, K-State with no timeouts left. Tight end left for Russ Campbell. Two receivers to the right, one left. Single back Gallon. Gallon will get the call. Trying to get outside, and he can as Kansas snows him under for a loss. Back at 7.07 left to go in the football game. 12-3 Kansas. This game was a 3-3 tie at half. Back to throw Watson. Sets up, throws across the middle. Pass is caught by Benton at the 35-yard line. First down, K-State. Gain of 15 yards. Paul Friday covered the play for the Jayhawks. Mitch, last season in the fourth quarter, Kansas State took the ball downfield. And Benton wide to the left side. Tight end left, Campbell. Two receivers right, Hernandez Smith. Gallon on setback. Back to throw Watson. Fires a pass complete to Mike Smith. Smith trying to break away from Jayhawks. Finally goes down at the 43-yard line for a gain of eight. Friday and Bailey make the tackle for KU. K-State trying to line up quickly to run a play here. Single back Gallon behind Watson. Two receivers to the left this time. As Benton joined by Smith over there. Hernandez, the lone receiver to the right. Watson calling the play at the line of scrimmage. Seeing Kansas in its defense. A 4-2 nickel defense. Actually, still in its 4-3. But Bailey, a good pass cover guy. Outside linebacker. Watson now fires a pass complete to Hernandez for a first down. Hernandez gets out of bounds to stop the clock. At 40 at the 49-yard line, a gain of five, and a first down on a second and one play. Gerald McBurr, the line of scrimmage quickly. 5.57 left in the game, 12-3 KU. First and 10 Wildcats, football at their own 49-yard line. Benton flanker to the right side. Single back again is Gallon. Back to throw Watson, looking for a quick pass. He has Campbell out of bounds at the Kansas 40-yard line. Gain of 11 on first down. Out of bounds to stop the clock. Robert State to the Jayhawk 40-yard line. Smith and Hernandez wide to the left side. Tight end right is Campbell. Flanker right is Benton. Single back is Gallon behind Watson. Draw play goes to Gallon. 40. Accelerates to the 35 and goes down there after a gain of five. 97 for Sylvester Wright made the tackle for Kansas. Second and five. K-State at the Jayhawk 35-yard line. Second and five, back to throw Watson. Pump faking. Now Watson's throwing long, looking for Hernandez. And the ball is tipped and dropped in the end zone by the defender, K KU's defender, Tim Hill. Had a chance to intercept it. Instead, Kansas. First Instead, Kansas. 
First down Wildcats, the 27 of KU. 5.02 left in the game, 12-3 Jayhawks. Watson again calling the play. Out of the no-huddle offense. Single back Gallon. They play fake off the draw. Now fall for the middle rush. Campbell can't make the catch. He went high to try to make the grab at the 10. Good coverage by Paul Friday. Jarred the ball loose. And the incompletion gives K-State second and 10 at the Jayhawk 27-yard line. Play the birthday game from the Kansas Lottery. Win $100,000. Somebody's always winning from the Kansas Lottery. 4.50 left to go in the game. 12-3 KU. K-State second and 10. Jayhawk 27-yard line. Two receivers to the left. One to the right. There's Andre Coleman in the game now for K-State. Madden is the lone setback on second and 10. Back to throw Watson. Nice pocket set. Now it breaks down. He throws near side to Campbell. Campbell at the 25. Russ across the 20 and pounds forward near a first down at the Jayhawk 18-yard line. He'll be a yard short of a first down, and that time Campbell's physical stature allowed him to pick up a few more yards. Kyle Moore on the stop for Kansas along with Ty Mater. Kansas State's catching a break here because the ball isn't far enough for a first down, but the referees didn't know. They stopped the clock to take a look and allowed Kansas State to get their team up onto the ball before the clock starts. K-State up on the ball, third down, a yard to go for a first down. They have the ball at the Kansas 18-yard line. 4.26 left to go in the game, KU leading 12-3. Watson, two-step drop, fires an out route, complete to Hernandez at the 10. Frank trying to put on a move, he can't, he goes right down at the 10-yard line, gain of eight. First down for K-State at the Jayhawk 10, Tim Hill made the tackle for the Jayhawks. The critical point is not only that Kansas State completed a pass to get down to the 10. That was third and one. Paul Watson didn't call a play like it was third and one. And if it would have been an incomplete pass, it would have been fourth down. And that's something that you always got to remember when you're in a two minute drill, you're thinking about getting touchdowns. Sometimes you don't keep track of what down it is on the marker, but there Kansas State picks up that first down and now they're at the 10 yard line with a first down. Laird Garner in at wide receiver for Hernandez. 4.07 left to go in the ball game. Football to the 10 yard line. K-State's ball there, handoff Gallon. Gallon at the five-yard line, he's rolling forward! Touchdown, Kansas State, Eric Gallon on a 10-yard run. And a nice play call for K-State. Kansas anticipating past the Wildcats. Have their first touchdown of the day on an Eric Gallon 10-yard run. A nice drive by Kansas State of 14 plays, 94 yards, finished off by a 10-yard run by Eric Gallon. He busted through the line to the left side, off tackle to the five-yard line. But from there, it was individual effort, breaking a tackle at the five and breaking a tackle at the one. He dives in inside the pylon, and Kansas State, with an extra point, has a chance to pull within two points here. A very, very important extra point here. Watson will hold, Tate Wright will try the extra point. He had a field goal early in the game. The kick is up. The kick is up and good, and K-State's within two points. 3.58 left to go in the game. The score, Kansas 12, Kansas State 10. Back with the Wildcat kickoff after these important messages from your favorite local Wildcat station. It moves the football. 14 plays, 94 yards in three minutes and 58 seconds, all done without a timeout because K-State's out of timeouts. They get a 10-yard run from Eric Gallon, and it's Kansas 12, K-State 10. KU 12, K-State 10, 3.58 left to go in the ball game. And Kansas State will likely kick it deep here, Stan. I think they should kick it deep here, Mitch. They've been able to stop the running game. They're gonna have to force Kansas to punt the football, but that's their best option with 3.58 left. Lawson will kick it deep and hammers an in over end kick. George White backs up, takes it to the one yard line. He's at the 10 yard line. White to the 15, 20, explodes, gets tripped up as he crosses the 25 to the 26. Ecker made the tackle. That's a run of football game. Hillary has an eye formation behind him. Chandler, the tight end left. Jimmy New, the wide receiver to the left side. Hillary, long count. Play action fake. He rolls left, he wants to throw the football, fires a pass, it's by the intended receiver, Chandler. Good coverage by Brooks Barta, good pass, rush by Elijah Alexander on Hillary. The bootleg play for Kansas usually gets Chip Hillary out there on a, alone, but Alexander's made a very disciplined play all game long, and it's been right there in the face. And the Kansas Jayhawks give the K-State Wildcats a gift by trying to throw there when running the ball and running out the clock would have been the play that everyone was expecting. Now Kansas State saves a little bit of time by forcing the incompletion. 
Second down, 10, Kansas at their own 25. 12, 10, KU. 3.48 left in the game. I formation. Hillary. Into the long count. Play clock at 11. Hillary will option to the left side. He's at the 25-yard line. He is driven down at the 29-yard line. He did not get out of bounds, or did he get out of bounds to stop the clock? It appears he did at 3.41 left to go. The clock stopped at 3.41. Elijah Alexander made the hit. It was that play last year that Hillary ran for 40 yards to put the game away for KU. Well, it was a big third down last year. Kansas had the five. If Kansas State can make the play here, Kansas will have made two mistakes. That time, Hillary let himself get pushed out of bounds, stops the clock again. 3.41 left in the game. 12-10, Kansas with the lead. They've got third down and six. Football at their own 29-yard line. Robin alone set back behind Hillary. Kansas trying to call a play at the line of scrimmage. Audibleizing, they have one timeout left. K-State coming on the blitz, handoff. Robin trying to get outside. He's got near a first down. They'll mark him down at the 34 and a half yard line and he is near a first down as Robin slashing to the right side. Clock moving at 3.30. Appears to be short by about a half yard now in this football game as Iclop lines up for the punt. Again, they are gonna go in a long count probably trying to draw K-State off. They get the kick away, Iclop. This is a line drive kick, not a good kick by Iclop. Taken by Mike Smith, trying to get outside. He's at the 30, goes down and does not get out of bounds, but he gets up to the 34 yard line. 2.55 left to go in the game. Kansas State, all they need is a field goal now. It's Kansas 12, K-State 10. 2.55 left in the game. K-State's got the ball first and 10 at their own 34-yard line. And Kansas State trying to do a Lazarus job here. They were put away in the grave, and they're trying to move out of that. They had a 14-play, 94-yard drive for a touchdown after Kansas had completely stymied Kansas State. And now the Wildcats, no timeouts left. 2.55 left in the game. 12-10 KU. This game was anticipated being a classic. It is a classic. Two receivers to the left side. Tight end right is Campbell. Benton is a flanker right. Gallon alone set back behind Paul Watson. Watson gives it off to Gallon on the run. Gallon is at the 40-yard line. And Gallon trying to run hard. He's up across the 45. He's up to the 47-yard line. Clock will stop because Gallon picked up enough yards for the first down. K-State that time. They'll move the chains, and now once they see, reset this chains, they'll start the clock. Which that's an important point. Every time you hear Kansas State make a first down, they'll have time to line up be, while the referees set the chains. If they don't make a first down, if he would have gained only nine yards, the clock continues to run the whole time. 2.42 left to go in the ball game. Clock ticking, 12-10 KU, no timeouts left for K-State. First and 10 Wildcats at their own 46. Back to throw Watson. Quick out route. Knocked down. Come incomplete. Mike Smith could not get the pass. It was out to his left. He took his right hand out. Couldn't get it. Covering the lead. Even though the clock stopped on an incomplete pass, you would expect Kansas State to go back and huddle. They're in the rhythm right now, and they don't want to change that. So they go back up to the line of scrimmage and continue in their hurry-up offense. Two receivers left. One to the right, tight end right, Campbell. Ball on the right, hash mark, Gallon alone, setback. Back to throw is Watson. Stumbling is now trying to move to his right, and he's going to go out of bounds to stop the clock. So he goes out of bounds after losing some yards, back to the 44-yard line. Stops the clock at 226, but most importantly, loses two yards. So Kansas State will have third push them back and allow Dana Stubblefield to come free. He came free unblocked. Watson had no chance. He was flushed out of the pocket, was lucky to get near the line of scrimmage when he went out of bounds. Play clock moving at 17. The clock has stopped. The game clock at 226. Third and 12, Kansas State. Back to throw Watson. Firing a pass across the middle. Caught by Russ Campbell at the 35 of the Jayhawks. A lofting pass over the middle. First down, Wildcats at the Jayhawk 35. Friday made the tackle for KU. 21-yard completion by Kansas State on a big third and 12 play. There's the tight end, Russ Campbell, open over the middle. It was a lofting pass, but he was wide open behind the linebackers in front of the safeties, and Kansas State picks up a first down at the KU 35-yard line. Clock now set in motion at 2.17. K-State, no timeouts left. 12 to 10 KU. First and 10 Wildcats at the 35 of the Jayhawks. You know that Tate Wright does not have the field goal range of Dan Eikloff. Now K-State spikes the ball, and Watson wanted to stop the clock to go over and talk to Bill Snyder over on the sideline. This Ball spiked at 2.06. Kansas State's going to go back and huddle this time, and Paul Watson's going to use it much like a timeout. He's going to run over and talk to Coach Schneider and get back, but the 25-second clock is going to run on him, so he will have to hustle back. 
Tate Wright is four for nine in his career from the 40 to 49 range. The ball is at the 35. It would be a 52-yard attempt from this position on the field. So Kansas State has to pick up at least 10 more yards to even get within Tate Wright's range. Second down 10 for the Wildcats at the 35 of the Jayhawks. Two receivers left, one to the right. Tight end right is Russ Campbell. Single back is Gallon. Behind Paul Watson. Kansas stepping up in the gaps. Looking like they'll go after Watson here. Five seconds on the play clock. Watson back to throw. Now being rushed. Pumping the football. Now throwing long. Oh, throwing it up for Coleman. He makes the catch at the five. Touchdown, K-State! Touchdown, K-State! Touchdown, K-State! Touchdown, K-State! It was a broken play! A broken play, and Kansas State gets a touchdown to take the lead, 16 to 12. Unbelievable, an unbelievable play. Paul Watson has all kinds of Kansas Jayhawks chasing him out of pocket. He rolls toward the sideline, and right before he steps out of bounds, he throws a ball up for grabs at the five. Two defenders were there. They were running forward. Andre Coleman recognized where the football was going before they did. He took off. He got two steps ahead of him, caught him at the five, took it in the end zone. Kansas State scores on a 35-yard touchdown. Andre Coleman, one of the most athletic players on the football team. K-State may go for two here. Here's why. A one-point PAT does you no good. If you would get two, it would at least take a point after and a touchdown to beat you. 16-12, K-State by four, a minute 58 left in the game. Kansas has one timeout left. K-State will go for two. Now, the Wildcats know better than anybody in the country on a two-point try, Kansas can pick up points. That's how the Wildcats won the Indiana State game. It's going to be a pass into the end zone. Oh, flag on the play, though. It's good for two points, but hang on. A halfback pass by Gallon to the tight end, Campbell, but hang on, a penalty flag thrown. And this will be called back. Chop block against Kansas State. Blocking below the waist against the Wildcats. Kansas State, 16, Kansas, 12. A minute 58 left to go in the game. Kansas has one timeout left. Kansas State had about five shovels of dirt on it. Back at about seven minutes left to go in the game. The Wildcats go 14 yards and 94 plays for a score. Then they come back on a six-play touchdown drive. The score on a broken play. We have a crackback block on the offense. 15-yard penalty. Repeat the try. A two-point try will be repeated here for the Wildcats, but K-State going over to the far sideline. 16-12, K-State a minute 58 left to go in the game. Going back to the touchdown pass, Paul Watson was flushed out of the pocket, just threw it up for grabs. Andre Coleman made the catch on a 35-yard touchdown pass. Coleman, one of the most athletic players on this football team. Well, the players were near the 10-yard line, three of them. Coleman and two Kansas defenders were there. When Watson threw it up, he threw it up so it would go to the five. Coleman reacted to the pass first and saw that it was going to be a deeper pass than to the 10-yard line, and he took off, and he has that quickness, and he separated himself for just a step or two, and he caught the football at the five-yard line, about 10 yards from the right sideline, the same sideline that Paul Watson was throwing from. When he caught the football there, he was able to race into the end zone, and the Kansas defenders didn't catch him until he crossed the goal line. So Kansas State makes a big touchdown, and you look back at that fourth down play where Kansas State stopped Kansas after the interception, and that was a big play as we spoke about at the time. Again, Kansas, though, on this two-point try can get two points of its own. Very important. They could get within field goal range. Back to, back to throw is Watson. Throws a pass near side. The pass is incomplete. The try for two fails. So, a minute 58 left in the game. Kansas State 16. Kansas 12. The Jayhawks must score a touchdown to win the game. The Wildcats, who trailed 12-3, after a furious comeback, like last year, but Kansas responded last year to win 27-24. Now, Kansas State must defend the Jayhawks. In a minute 58, Kansas has one timeout left. K-State leads 16-12. And Glenn Mason has to be asking himself right now, two times deep in Kansas State's territory, he turned away from his kicker, Dan Eikloff, 
the All-American candidate and went for fourth down. Both times missed. And Dan Alcloff missed another field goal, so maybe that's why he didn't want to take the chance with the new goal post being smaller to the occasion and stopped Kansas twice, allowing them to stay in the game all the time, waiting for the offense to get started. Finally, on the last two drives, 96 and 66-yard touchdown drives for the Wildcats put them ahead. George White. A very athletic kick returner back for Kansas. Chaka Johnson, Chris Powell, Roger Robin. Three up men for the Jayhawks. Warren Clausen will kick off for Kansas State. The run up and the kick, a high spinning kick. White will take it at the four. He'll move with his wall in front of him. He's at the 10, 15, 20, and, and goes down at the 24 yard line. Kickoff team tackle by Vili Sant for Kansas State. Now the Jayhawks must get a touchdown to win. They trail by four points, 16 to 12. Minute 52 left to go in the ball game. They have one timeout remaining. An outstanding quarterback in Chip Hillary. But here's the situation. Hillary has thrown the ball well today. He is 13 of 24, 157, his best passing day of the year. Now Kansas must pass. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. Now Florell into quarterback for KU. Nate Florell into quarterback for the Jayhawks, and he gets knocked down at the 26-yard line after running out of the pocket. Sean Dabney made the tackle for Kansas State. Now is Eichloff hurt, or Florell is just a better thrower? Or correction, not Eichloff, but Hillary. Hillary, not as good a thrower as Florell. He's in there now to throw deep. Clock moving in a minute 30. Second seven left to go in the ball game. Back to throw again is Florell. Pumping, pumping, running away from the Wildcat defense. Florell throws the football. It's incomplete, intended for Drayton at the 32-yard line. It does stop the clock with a minute 22 left in the game, and K-State leading 16 to 12. Elijah Alexander put the rush on Nate Florell. Nate Florell didn't see anybody open downfield. Great coverage by the Wildcats. He rolled out to the right. Elijah Alexander was there in his face. Nate Florell is the throwing quarterback for Kansas, but it's not that Chip Hillary isn't a throwing quarterback. Somewhat of a controversial move right here, and it's always tough to bring a quarterback cold off into a situation like this. Kansas State with one, two, three, four, five defensive backs in the secondary. Four-man rush. Florell has third down and seven. Football at his own 27. Back to throw Florell. Short toss. It's in or caught by Drayton. No, it's not caught. He couldn't handle the pass going down. Now it's fourth down for Kansas. Football at their own 27-yard line, a minute 19 left to go in the ball game, and Kansas has one bullet left in the chamber. They also have a timeout left, Stan. They have not used in three downs. Well, they need to get a first down before they use their timeouts. They need to get the ball down the field, save that timeout for a point where they get, gain a, have a long gainer, where it takes their team a long time to move down the field. Nate Florell had an open receiver, Kenny Drayton. It was an outside screen pass. He was just standing there, and Florell still overthrew him. So the quarterback with the cold arm here comes into the football game and overthrows a wide open guy only seven yards away from him. They do like though Phil Florell throwing the football. Had a completion last week at Virginia. Back to throw Florell. Steps up in the pocket. Throws a pass complete to the fullback Cousins. First down Kansas at the 41 yard line their own. Kansas still alive with a minute 11 left to go in the game. Brooks Barta made the tackle. KU is still alive. A minute 11 left in the game. First down Jayhawks at the wild or at their own 41 yard line. Still a timeout left for KU. You wouldn't expect anything else, Mitch. You expect this football game to go right down to the last second there. Kansas converts on a fourth down. Single back for Florell. Back to throw the football. Stepping up, lots of time, all kinds of time. Throws the football, the pass behind his intended receiver, Matt, Jimmy New, rather. The incompletion gives Kansas second and 10 at their own 41, clock at 102. C.J. Masters covered for K-State. Kansas State is not sending a blitz here. They're just doing their normal rush, trying to drop as many guys into coverage and cover the receivers downfield and therefore they're not getting any penetration there. Elijah Alexander came free one time and flushed Florell out but basically the Kansas offensive line is doing a good job and Florell has all day to throw the football. Florell, tall quarterback, 6'3", 210. Derek McBride in the game for K-State. Two receivers left, one to the right, second down 10. Florell, short four step drop, he's being rushed. Gets away from one guy, gets away from two guys, running to his right. He goes down in bounds at the 40-yard line. Chris Patterson chased him down from behind. He did not get out of bounds. Clock moving at 50 seconds, third down KU. And now Kansas forced to use its final timeout with third down and 11 at its own 40-yard line. 50 seconds left in the game. Kansas State 16, Kansas 12. And a flag thrown on the play. Hang on here. This may be on K-State. 
Oh, goodness, a penalty against the Wildcats. Penalty against Kansas State. And to be honest with you, Stan, that's a new one on me on this call by the official. Mitch, I think I know what it is. I don't know the signal. He raised his hands, but I think he's going to call it Kansas State's illegal participation, defense, 15-yard penalty, first down. There was a late substitution, Mitch, that you talked about, but John Hendrick, the defensive line coach, ran five yards on the field to push McBride out there, and they called a penalty. It's right before the snap. The coach was five yards out. He's supposed to be two yards behind the out-of-bounds line. Kansas State's coaches, I believe, got that penalty. Kansas still a chance. First down now at the 44 of K-State, and still their timeout left. Florell back to throw, pumping, pumping. Now is forced to run the football, moving left, still moving left. He's at the 35 and out-of-bounds to stop the clock. Picks up nine yards, 39 seconds left to go in the game. 16-12 K-State, Brooks Bar to chase Florell out of bounds. Florell did a good job there. He was in the middle of the field looking down, and he scrambled to his left, was able to outrun Brooks Barta, gained good yardage, but more importantly, he stepped out of bounds, and now Kansas has the football down at the Kansas State 35-yard line. And 39 seconds left to go in the game. Second and one KU, still a timeout left for the Jayhawks. At the 35-yard line of Kansas State now. And Kansas trying to come back. 16-12 Wildcats. Cousins, the lone man behind Florell. Back into the pocket, all kinds of time to throw. Fires a pass, that is. Caught by New. Is it caught? They're going to say it's a catch at the 20-yard line. 32 seconds left to go in the game. They'll root it a catch by New at the 20-yard line of Kansas State. And the first down stops the clock, giving Kansas time to get up to the ball. Kansas still has that one timeout left. Florell, Cousins behind him is a lone setback. K-State with no timeouts left as well. Now Florell and KU spikes the ball. K-State did it earlier. 28 seconds left to go in the game. Still a timeout left for KU. 16-12 Wildcats. But Kansas now has moved the ball to the K-State 20-yard line. Let's pause to catch our breath in 10 seconds for State. Mitch Holt to Stan Weber back at KSU Stadium's Wagner Field. Wide to the left is Matt Gay. Nate Florell, the quarterback who has courageously led Kansas downfield. A better passing quarterback than Chip Hillary has moved the ball to the K-State 20-yard line. Kansas offensive line has done a good job here as well, Stan Weber, keeping K-State away. The spike gives Kansas a second down. Football at the 20 of the Wildcats. And well within striking distance. Cousins, the fullback behind. Nate Florell, the quarterback. Florell, three-step drop. Quick pass, right side, complete to Drake. Now he drops the football. Is it a fumble? Is it a fumble? Is it a fumble or an incompletion? Did Kansas? No, they're going to say Kansas still has the football. They'll rule it an incompleted forward pass. And third down for KU at the Wildcat 20-yard line, 23 seconds left in the game. The clock should be running right now, Mitch. It's not. And unless Kansas called timeout, the clock should be running. Nothing while the referees were looking should have stopped the clock, but they did stop the clock, I guess, to unpile well, the players. And it's not an incompletion. They said he caught it and recovered his own fumble, evidently. They got it third down on the yardage marker on the far sideline. 18 seconds left in the game. Florell, two-step drop. Back now throws the football complete to Cousins. The fullback, he gets knocked down to the 18-yard line. Ten seconds left to go in the game. Brooks Barta made the tackle. Eight seconds left to go in Kansas. Now we'll use a timeout. Let's go back to the second down play. Evidently, they must have said Drayton caught and recovered his own fumble. That's right. He was running a screen pass. The offensive lineman just blocked for a second, let the defensive lineman through, and then they were going to go straight up field. Kenny Drayton moved from the outside over the middle of the field, just right at the line of scrimmage. He caught the football for a split second, fumbled in a memorable football game. There have been so many great games in this series. And this was one of them in Kansas. He's got a crack here. The Jayhawks have fourth and nine at the 19 of Kansas State. Eight seconds left to go in the game. No timeouts left for KU. Four-man rush for Kansas State. Florell back to throw. Quick toss. Throws to the wide receiver. He's inside the 10-yard line. Two seconds, one second. And there can't did the did they get a first down? They did. They got a first down and have to run a quick play. They got down inside the 10-yard line. They've got to get the ball snapped very quickly and throw one pass to the end zone with one second left on the clock. Florell has to just throw it to the end zone here. One second left to go in the game. 
Florell throwing for the end zone. The pass is knocked away. K-State wins. K-State wins. The Wildcats win it in a miracle finish. The Wildcats come back down from 12-3 and win it. And they beat the Kansas Jayhawks 16-12. Roger Green knocked down the pass. And what it is, what it is, it's a big, 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 big win for Kansas State. 16-12 Wildcats. Post game in two minutes on the Wildcat Football Network. If you're a Kansas fan, you can praise the defensive effort of your football team today. They played their tails off after K-State moved on the first series to get three points, yet Kansas State. And if you're a Kansas State fan, you can relish in one of the greatest victories in the series history as K-State comes back from 12-3 to win 16-12, scoring two touchdowns with no timeouts left and about eight minutes left to go in the game. The first touchdown, a 94-yard, 14-play drive. Gallon, 10-yard run. The second drive, a six-play drive, I believe, Six-play, 66-yard drive, a pass of 35 yards from Watson to Coleman. Now, if you're a Kansas State fan, write these things down. The first 1-0 start in the Big 8 since 1978. The second 1-0 start in the last 21 years. The first 4-1 start since 1969 and only the third in 37 years. And this is the big stat, six straight home wins. Six straight home wins for the first time since 1921. And Kansas State gets the win, 16-12 stand. Yeah, Mitch, and the other thing is we talked about building a tradition of coming in here at Kansas State and winning the football games on Wagner Field. This is Kansas State's third consecutive home victory in the Big 8, counting the last two games at home last season against Oklahoma State and Iowa State. That's the first since 68-69, a very big victory, and I think you go back to when Kansas was down at the 7-yard line on a fourth down play and went for fourth down. The players on the defensive side were raising their hands, telling the fans to cheer, and the fans had no desire to cheer at that point. They were kind of sitting on their hands after a one-play interception return. But no, Kansas State's defense decided this game isn't over. They made the big play there, gave the offense a chance, and that's what the defense did all day long. They were backed up. They continued to believe that if they stopped them one more time, the defense, if they defense stopped them one more time, the offense may come around and turn it around, and they finally did. Stan, to your credit, you mentioned that on that very play. You said Kansas State must hold them here to have any kind of chance and should have that. If they stop them here, have a chance to come back. It was John the Baptist, the voice in the wilderness, because Kansas State came back to do it. But what we've also seen, Stan, here, is a change in attitude in this football program with Bill Snyder as the head football coach. This was not a pretty football game for K-State. They turned it over six times. They used their timeouts way too early in the second half. They had some bad clock management. Yet, 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 
they win the football game. That says something about changing Kansas State football. Well, I think the fans really ought to look at, at something right now. The Kansas team was a very good football team. There's no doubt about it. They beat up on Virginia all week last week. But the Kansas State football team won in a fashion I never expected them to today. I didn't expect them to play poorly, turn over the ball that many times. Kansas State did not play an outstanding football game. They actually...